Before you can easily identify structures on the ulna, you must be able to distinguish between the right and left ulna. The olecranon, that knob which makes up our elbow, obviously faces proximally. We can feel this. The trochlear notch faces anteriorly. This is obvious since if it faced posteriorly, you would be able to feel this notch with your fingers. Obviously, it doesn't. Finally, the radial notch must face laterally. The ulna is the medial bone. You can feel it going from the olecranon all the way down to its styloid process. You can show yourself that the ulna is the medial bone simply by feeling the ulna of your forearm. The radius must therefore be the lateral bone if the ulna is the medial bone of the forearm. And therefore the radial notch, that notch in the ulna into which the radius fits, must face laterally since the radius is the lateral bone. Here once again we can see that the ulna has that large knob known as the elbow or olecranon. The trochlear notch is the part of the ulna which articulates with the trochlea at the distal end of the humerus. And then there is a radial notch which faces laterally towards the radius. The ulna is the medial bone of the forearm and the radius is the lateral bone. If you were to wave your hand goodbye and touch uh, the head of your radius, you can feel it spin uh, in the radial notch of your ulna. The radius has a round head which articulates with the capitulum of the humerus, a constricted neck beneath this head distal to it, and then a radial tuberosity which is the insertion for the biceps brachii muscle.